Hello. My name is Pastor Charles Brooks, and I just want to tell everybody that I am so grateful and blessed to be a part of You Get Paid Fast. And this is the first time that I've ever really made this kind of money online. And I'm I'm praying that everyone who have an opportunity to join this program, please join, because it's the best thing that happened to me and a number of other people that's on the net today. Thank you for listening. God bless you, Paul. This is Richard Brantley. Uh, many know me as Pastor Richard. I have today, on the 11th of October of this year, 13, been in, you get paid fast 18 days thus far, and I have for 13 years online marketing, minimum usually of around 12 hours a day, and having made some very good money over the years, never, ever have I experienced anything like you get paid fast, nor have I had so much fun doing it before. Within, I guess, around 30 minutes of viewing the site, once it was sent to me, I was off to the post office getting my four people paid. And then within five days, they had all received the money orders I had sent them and confirmed me. And then being fully validated and possession of my own website, I set out to get the word out. For I am all about helping others. And as a senior pastor for 40-plus years, I saw the extraordinary value of what God had most definitely given you. And I couldn't wait to spread the good news for I understand that there is nothing greater regarding good news than the birth and life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ who came and transforms our lives and our eternities and gives us a reason and a hope for living. But there's also other great good news, and that is this that he has given to you, and that is the ability to one person at a time transform the, the financial landscape of their lives like I've spent my life doing, helping people to transform the spiritual landscape of their lives. I started out by contacting every one of my friends on Skype and spending time explaining to them this miracle until they were, I guess you could say, as on fire about it as I was. Then I began posting it on Facebook and in a couple of traffic exchanges and then all my other programs I work and using the company banners and text ads provided in the site as well as word of mouth and phone calls and text messages, and, and nothing's really changed. Plus, I pray daily and I ask God for wisdom for how he would have me do this, and he always directs me, knowing that I will not be greedy and that I give a majority of whatever I make online to the spread of the gospel in untouched areas of the world. And I know God blesses people for other reasons as well. And I'm blessed to have 10 personal uh, members underneath me, and of course, quite an extensive uh, downline. I think approaching around 60 right now, and and it's just amazing to me. I'm sitting here right now, from the last three days, looking at 27 uh, money orders on my desk. Uh, you know, where else can you do this? Spend $28, the price of a meal out, and you have that back in just a few days, and then the joy and the blessings of just going out to the mailbox. My grandkids try to outrun me if my wife doesn't to, <laughs> to see what's in the mailbox and to come back in waving this big stack of precious envelopes from precious people all over the world, joyfully sending me $7 money orders, and as I did them. So, folks, you know, it's only just the gun. Let's get the word out. Let's go. We've got the miracle. We've got the tool we've all been looking for here to help every single person that we know. And it's so lucrative and it's so it's so extremely affordable. So God bless you. Thanks for these few minutes to chat with you. Again, this is Pastor Richard. Take care. Hello, this is uh, Pastor Mike Colston. And uh, I'm calling to give my uh, testimony of You Get Paid Fast. This is an incredible opportunity for people who have never made any money on the Internet. Uh, I actually joined uh, You Get Paid Fast uh, on the 24th of September, uh, and I sent my money orders off to my upline sponsors. They were all marked paid by October the 2nd. I started promoting uh, the program the next day, October the 3rd, and I received my first sign-up uh, notification on Saturday morning, October the 5th. I received my first money order uh, on Wednesday, October the 9th. So uh, this is a real deal. It's a real program. 
the money's real, I'm real, and I am happy. Be blessed. Hi, I'm Pastor David Turner, Director of Advertising and Promotion for the Summit Broadcasting Network. I was introduced to You Get Paid Fast by my friend, Pierre Horton. And even though she knew how busy I am with my company, she told me that this was a very, this was something very, very good and very great, and I would love it. And needless, needless to say, I took a look at it, and I was surprised, and I already know Paul Darby from other ventures, so it was, you know, that made it a little bit easier for me to take a look at it. But again, I'm very surprised at how simple and, and hands off this is, and the potential of the instant income as I got paid within hours after joining, and uh, and and pretty much it's been that way ever since. So uh, a couple of hours a day, as I join, I, I do a, a little posting and emailing, and uh, this business is taking legs and it's walking on its own, and I think it's just a great opportunity for anyone. And uh, I just think that you know if you if you if you if you have a desire to do something special, then you need to be involved with this very special company. Thank you. Shifting can be profitable, so can selling drugs, but the risks are very real. With so many legitimate ways to make money online, it is insane to take these. Gifting programs are sprouting up all over the internet. Many are getting rich, but some will go to jail. It has already happened. There are a number of programs out there. The Overnight Cash System, Elite Activity, Charity Begins at Home, Q, Q Box, Cash Gifting, Private Cash Gifting, Cash Gifting Angels, Cash Gifting King. All are promoting some form of cash gifting as a legal method of receiving loads of tax-free cash. These programs are growing in popularity every day, and some people are in fact making a lot of money, but there is not enough money in the world that is worth risking jail, your liberty, your reputation, and ultimately your long-term financial and personal freedom, especially when you can use the same skill sets and effort required to make money from gifting to make tons of money without these risks. As a retired attorney and a successful home business coach, I felt obligated to write this blog to help dispel some of the misinformation out there. I hate to see so many people risking their personal freedom, as well as their hard-earned money on these programs. Read this carefully before you do something you will ultimately regret. There are many legitimate legal ways to make money. Please note, I am not giving legal advice here. If you want to get legal advice about any gifting program you are looking at, you have two choices. 1. Speak to a competent attorney on your own. Speak with someone who is familiar with the Federal Trade Commission. The illegality of gifting has nothing to do with the IRS. 2. Go to the Attorney General in your state. Show them everything you have about your potential program, and ask for their professional opinion. Ask whether they think that engaging in this activity is a prosecutable offense. Ask if someone brought this to their attention, whether it was something they would choose to prosecute. I'm guessing most of you will not do that, because in your gut you know the answer. Don't rely on the statement on some website that some anonymous attorney has determined that it is legal. My personal opinion on whether gifting should be legal doesn't count and neither does yours. Of course, the problem with all of the gifting programs out there is that they are not being truthful. While many of the people promoting these programs actually believe that what they are doing is legal, the people who are creating these systems and producing the websites that are being used to promote them know the truth. They know that people have gone to jail and that old programs have been shut down, and new ones have been created, usually by people with some relationship to the shut down programs. Likewise, the promoters know that the only way to make money with gifting is to treat it like a business. But their website ad copy is specifically designed to lure in average people with no business background who are not confident enough to start a real business. They know that these people do not have a chance in a million of succeeding in gifting. Only those who treat it as a business have a chance to succeed. And even then, Ask yourself this. How many hours a day every day do you want to spend having this conversation with the people you are trying to get to join your gifting program? The conversation that starts with, is it legal? Every person with half a brain who comes to your gifting website will ask this. The fact that you are reading this blog tells me that you are asking yourself that question. 
Unless you do what I suggest and do your own due diligence in checking out the legalities without relying on the program promoter, if you tell someone that it is legal and they believe you, are you prepared to accept the consequences of that statement? Will you be able to sleep at night? How will you feel when someone you know gets arrested or faces the IRS all because of something you recommended? So, while I believe that it is conceivable to have a gifting program that could be run in a moral and ethical manner, the reality is that since we have laws here in the USA and in most every other country that are designed to protect consumers from their own gullibility and foolishness, the fact is that these gifting programs are illegal. When people talk about illegal pyramid schemes, this is the exact activity that the laws are designed to prevent. I absolutely believe that you can make boatloads of money with cash gifting, just as you can in any number of businesses online or offline. In fact, I admit that I have been tempted more than once to take my internet marketing experience and apply it in the gifting arena. I have no doubt that I could apply what I know about internet marketing and make a fortune with gifting, but I also know that the risk of ultimately suffering criminal and monetary consequences is real. And for me personally, the risk outweighs the potential reward. Particularly because there are so many unquestionably legal ways to make a fortune using the same skills required to be successful in cash gifting, the truth about the tax code. Making it legal, my concerns about the people who are promoting and creating these gifting programs is that they misrepresent the tax code, and take advantage of the fact that most non-wealthy people have no clue about gift taxes. I see statements in website after website stating that the Internal Revenue Service clearly makes it legal to make gifts up to $12,000 a person and adding that everyone has the legal right to receive gifts up to $12,000 without paying taxes. I do not intend to go into a lengthy explanation of gift taxes except to state that this is an area of tax law which goes hand in hand with estate planning. The issue of gift taxation is a subject dealt with by wealthy families who want to pass their assets to their children and other family without having to lose most of their assets to the government through the payment of estate taxes. Gift taxes are paid by the gift giver. If your wealthy parents or a wealthy friend wants to give you $500,000 as a true gift, I promise you that they will not be breaking any laws. Your wealthy friend or relative will have to pay gift taxes on the amount of the gift that exceeds the yearly allowance set by the Internal Revenue Service. But they will not be breaking any laws. And neither will you. In fact, you can receive true gifts of any amount without breaking any laws. Nothing in the tax code makes the giving of gifts of any amount legal or illegal. First, with the exception of political contributions, and other specific instances like gifts to public officials who have authority to make decisions, that is bribery. People are free to make gifts of any amount to anybody or any organization. Giving gifts of any amount except for those specific exceptions is entirely lawful. Those exceptions do go to the heart of why gifting programs are illegal. The real issue is whether they are in fact gifts. The reason that there are laws which limit the amount of political contributions any person or group can give, or the reason that it is unlawful to give gifts to police officers or judges or any public employees is that there is a question as to whether it is a gift, meaning that there is no expectation of any benefit to the gift giver, other than the warm fuzzy feeling that goes with giving. If you give a gift to a politician, the question becomes whether you are simply giving a gift or, are you giving money with the expectation of some benefit to you? Gift equal no expectation of return bribe equal expectation of benefit equal if you are caught, you will go to jail. The reason that gifting programs are illegal is this, by definition, a gift is money or services or anything of value which is given freely with no expectation of receiving anything in return. The fact that you and everyone you promote your gifting business to signs a piece of paper stating that they are freely giving a gift and are expecting nothing in return does not make it a gift. The fact that you sign a piece of paper that states that you are not engaging in a business does not change the fact that you are engaging in an activity with the express purpose of making a profit which is by definition a business. I hate to be the bearer of cliches, but if it looks like a duck, and walks like a duck, and quacks like a duck, signing a piece of paper that declares it a cow does not make it so. Prosecutors, judges and the Internal Revenue Service will not care what your piece of paper says. They will look at your actions, they will look at the reasonable intentions of anyone doing this. They will look at the websites you are using and at the ads you are posting. If turning any money-making activity into a tax-free gift was as simple as signing a piece of paper that states that you are giving a gift, then every business out there could do the same. Have you ever heard of barter? People exchange services and goods every day, but you cannot just sign a paper that says I am giving this service as a gift and make it so. If you truly want to give a gift, go ahead. In fact, while I will never risk my liberty to engage in any gifting programs, I would love to receive gifts and will be glad to accept any gifts from any of you who have recently been inspired to be a professional gift giver. I will gladly accept gifts of any amount unlike most of the programs out there. I do not ask for gifts in specified amounts. You will not have to pass up any gifts. 
I was discussing the issue of getting with a highly competent attorney I know, and I jokingly suggested that I could contact all the people who are promoting their getting programs and suggest that they could send me a gift as evidence that they are not engaged in a business, but just truly are into getting as a way of life. Giving a gift to me, even though I am not part of their program could be evidence that they really and truly just like to give gifts and I could testify on their behalf when some attorney general comes after them, but oops I just ruined it. Now it's not a gift, so, I am still open to receiving gifts, but I cannot agree to testify on your behalf. Let me ask you this. Did you learn about gifting from a person or website who more or less just told you, hey it's better to give than to receive? I love giving gifts and I hang out with a bunch of other people who also just love giving gifts, and if you want to join our organization you can give gifts too. We are just a bunch of people who love to give, and if you join our private club, who knows? Maybe some of our members who just love giving without expecting anything in return, definition of a gift, will just randomly give you a gift, or did you respond to a website that promised you a way that you could make boatloads of tax-free money? Ask yourself this. If you are joining a freewheeling group of gift givers why do you first have to make a gift to join? Why do you make one gift and then receive unlimited gifts? Why is it that you only make one gift or maybe more to qualify for greater compensation? Hint, true gifts do not come with compensation plans and different levels of participation. When was the last time you gave a true gift and the gift receiver set out rules and requirements about how much, how to advertise, online marketing etc. Brazilla stories don't count. I have actually seen some programs that are trying to establish gifting as some sort of religious group. There are tax protesters that will tell you that the government has no right to tax you and will tell you it is legal to not pay taxes. There are groups online who tell you that due to some legal loophole, you do not have to pay your credit card debt. And now there are many people trying to tell you that gifting as a way of earning money is legal and tax-free and maybe even a new religion. Don't be fooled. One final note. Ask the promoters of your gifting program to back up their claims that this is legal. It's really simple. Ask if they will sign a simple document that they will pay your legal expenses in the event that engaging in gifting as they are promoting it causes you to be arrested or audited. Then just trust your instincts.